Hello everyone, this is David, and today I'm going to be reacting to Voice Play's version of You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Now, I'm very interested to see this because of the fact that I've seen Pentatonix's version of this many times. It, was, it wasn't my introduction to Matt, but it was my introduction to Matt as a solo singer, so that was special. And, uh, well, he killed it, so, you know... I'm I'm wondering if they're gonna do something similar to that and where they f feature their their bass uh, Jeff, but uh, we'll see. Um, anyways, let's get right into it. So then I said, so then I said, listen, listen, listen. So then I said, hey Grinch, you're a triple decker sauerkraut and toadstool sandwich. Yeah. Okay. With arsenic sauce. Oh, oh, that's the very worst kind of sandwich. I know. It's disgusting. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. Guys, I think we're on. Uh -oh. The cameras are rolling. Here we go. One, two, three, and... Do -do -do.
Okay, that was nice. That was nice. I, I'm i going to be honest. I don't know which one I like better. This version or Pentatonix's version? Because... There are certain parts of each I like better than the other. For, for one thing, um... They didn't really do a solo all the way through for like one person. They did solos for like individual people, and everyone got like their own solo moment. And uh, yeah, I will say this um, in terms of acting and uh, acting and uh, which call it uh, humor, I would definitely give it to voice play. Uh, but. If we're talking about um, arrangement, while I like this version a lot, I definitely have to give it to Pentatonix because they didn't just stick with like one type of drum beat and like they didn't stick with like the same background for like pretty much the whole thing. They switched it up like two or three times. Was it four? I don't know, but uh, they they switched it up quite a bit in that song, and uh, in their version, and uh, yeah, that was nice. Like um, Kevin was really, really doing a great job, like with all those transitions between like the drum beats and stuff. It's just like, dude, that's ridiculous. And I know Lane can do that too, but he didn't. <laughs> and that's that's probably because whoever arranged the song was like, yeah. Let's just keep it like this. Uh, let's see. What else? What else can I say? Um, I did like the fact that Adriana was here. Um, I remember her in a couple videos. She was in uh, Sing. Obviously, when they bought, like, pretty much everyone. Except for Pentatonix. <laughs> And then she was, her first video with them was, um, the Frozen 2 medley, which, uh, she killed that one. Like, uh, she was more, much more heavily featured in, in that one. In this one, she was mostly br background with, um, you know, that, that little bit of a solo there. But, you know, whatever role she's in, she sounds great, especially for her age, because I... Because, like, at this point, what is she, like, 17 now, I think? Because when did Frozen 2 come out? That, that came out, like, what, two years ago? Was it last year? I can't remember. But, yeah, anyways. She's probably, what, like, 16, 17 at this point. And, uh, <laughs> let's be honest. I sounded like crap when I was her age. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That was great. Um, and um, I will say this: voice play. Um, they did. They played this more like a um, a skit, whereas you know, Pentatonix was most was mostly just like a straight up music video. Like uh, this was more of like a musical skit, and I like that version of it better. Um. You know, solo wise, uh, I have to give it to Pentatonix because of the fact that um, that just has like this rich, very clear voice. And while I love Jeff's voice, uh, he can get a lot lower than Matt. Let's let's be honest here. <laughs> but when he gets really low like that. It can be kind of uh, difficult to, um, you know, hear the lyrics that he's singing at times. But then at the same time, he wasn't the only one having a solo in this. So it wasn't as big a deal because, you know, everyone had a solo in this. And uh, whew, uh, my favorite solo was probably Lane's because... Uh, he just really has a way of, like, getting into a character. <laughs> like, um... This had a very, very, like, um... Christmassy 
movie feel feel to it. Because, well, it was based off a story that got turned into, like, I don't even know how many versions of The Grinch there are out there in, like, um, you know, visual media now, but <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. And uh, this reminds me of that. That just reminds me of, you know, just um, a cheesy, fun Christmas movie. I mean that in the best way possible. Cheesy doesn't have to be bad. Like, um, let me put it this way. If a movie knows that it's cheesy, but doesn't try ridiculously hard to be, like, ridiculously cheesy, then that's fine. <laughs> but if it's, like, say, like, way too cheesy, like, say, Batman and Robin cheesy, like, you, you know they're trying too hard to make it cheesy. <laughs> it's just like, just like, oh, no, no, let the cheesiness come naturally. Just let it come naturally. This was more natural than Batman and Robin's type of cheesiness. So, yeah. So that's good. So... Basically, I said all that to say I'm still undecided on who did it better, pentatonics or voice play. Because, you know, they have different strengths. They have different strengths. You know what, I'm going to give pentatonics the slightest edge just because of that amazing arrangement. Don't get me wrong, this was a really good arrangement. It was more of like a, a swing arrangement, but it, it was a swing arrangement the whole time. I would have liked like a couple, like, uh, maybe not even a couple, just like maybe like one, like, one transition into like a different type but you know they made a stylistic choice and they stuck with it and I and I I respect that so you know it's neither here nor there and yeah we're officially in the holiday season now Thanksgiving is behind us oh by the way happy belated Thanksgiving to everyone and yeah once again this is a lot longer than I expected to be so yeah i'm gonna stop here because once again i've been rambling and uh thanks for watching guys